All right, I am back today with a spicy Q&A roulette challenge. I've got my good friend Brett Novak, and my good friend Steve here that's gonna do it with me. So I've done this format before, we're gonna do it again. This time we are doing chicken wings. So what we're gonna do is we have four questions we're gonna be asking, and we're going to be, during these four questions, we're gonna be randomly eating these chicken wings. And they are gonna be, it starts off small and it, gets, it ramps up pretty fast. So we start off with just a regular Frank's hot sauce wing sauce, and then we also have the exact same sauce that's been peppered with a, a jalapeno, and then the same sauce again, but a but two habaneros have been added to it, and yet again the same sauce, but a Carolina two Carolina Reapers have been added to it actually. So it should get pretty gnarly. So what we're going to do is we're going to randomly draw from these cards. The card will associate the chicken wing they're going to be eating. Read a question and then answer them in a Q&A format while experiencing whatever said chicken wing we do get to. So basically, we'll start off, pick a pick a card. You're first. Any card. You know, I used to do magic. I'll do like high school and stuff. Really? Do a trick. You really don't know that? No, I do My channel's name is Bragic. True. It's my, my old nickname. You're, uh, it's, it's all making sense now. By the end all of right, this, you to do a magic trick. All right, I will, I I will pick one. All right, I got four spades. Eight of clubs. Eight of clubs. Three of diamonds. All right, find your, your wing. I just licked my fingers and that was pretty hot. I'm not sure what I just ate. So are we doing a question first? Yeah, so we have we have our wing. And so the first question is going to be from Justin underscore cop and it's other than take over the world, <coughs> man that was spicy. Other than take over the world, what's y'all's all time favorite skate video? What was your favorite video? Habanero, I got it. Mm. Blackout. Black labels blackout. That's a good video. That was probably the most impactful video for me. Ragdoll. Christian's Beat Deck. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, that's a great one. <clears throat> My favorite video is Jump Off a Building, Point okay. Machine. Probably the first video I actually ever saw on VHS. I miss skate videos in that format where it has like commercials in the middle of the skate video for like companies or like 401s that were coming out. But I think that was like one of the best teams like in skateboarding. That is a really spicy yeah, chicken nice. wing. What was your, um, what was your take? I enjoyed all the old trans world videos, specifically Sight Unseen, Heath King Chart, or as Andy would call it, the chart. That was an amazing part in Sight Unseen. They yeah. all had really good parts. I have no idea which one I got. They're habanero. I don't know what I got. Mine is really spicy Mine's though. Spicy. Mine was pretty hot. I have no clue what it is. And the whole time, I don't know. They'll be popping up on the screen, but as, we eat, as we're eating this, we have no idea what we're eating. Moving on to question number two. Pick a card. Oh, you pick no, I'll pick. I'm going to go, go this one. Six of diamonds. Cool. All right. All right. Six of diamonds is this guy right this here. This one right here. Yep. Uh, the seven of diamonds is this bad boy, and the king of spades is this. Oh, that's the other. Oh man. I feel like this is just the regular Franks. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm scared. Right. I'm sweating. Next question. A Dartsy asks, uh, "How did you get started on YouTube?" YouTube. Ha! Huh. Regular. This is just Frank's. This is an easy one. This is delicious. I'm I don't know very anything. interested to hear this because I have no idea how you got started. Wow, that actually might have been spicier than I thought it was. I'm not sure. I got started on YouTube in October of 2005. Only a few months after they launched. Um, That's pretty hot. Oh. I haven't decided how hot my name <clears throat> We used to make videos all the time, skate videos, and just kind of teaching ourselves after effects. My buddy Eric oh. and I. And um, <laughs> I think I got a, a rear rear. Um, and we uh, we posted on early 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 days on uh, on YouTube, and we had one of the first viral videos on YouTube of a, of a talking dancing thumb called Jorg. Right. Yep, I knew that. I know this. Yeah. And then uh, it was years later that I was always posting skate stuff, but it wouldn't be like <laughs> oh my god, 2010. I'm, <sighs> I'm handling mine all right. <coughs> it was pretty spicy, but. I don't know. That's pretty hot. Okay. How about you? No, 2010? Yeah. So, uh, 2010 was when um, uh, the Killing Mark videos came out and it kind of really it became my full time like focus after that. Gotcha. Ninja, what do you got? A few years ago, I had a channel called Vegas Skating and it was me and a friend that ran it and I got really burnt out on skateboarding. So, I started this channel, Ninja Lifestyle, so that I had the option to upload both lifestyle clips, cooking clips, skateboarding, and whatever. Because I go through a lot of phases. You know, I might think one thing's cool one day, and then next week I kind of grow in and grow out of things. So Ninja Lifestyle is, uh, that's what most of you guys associate me with. 
aside from beating up scooter kids. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's how that channel started. Uh, I, as you guys know, I'm, I'm pretty new to actually having my own YouTube channel, but I've been on YouTube in various ways for a number of years. Um, I own Revive Skateboards, Force Wheels, and a few other different projects. And um, I'm surrounded by people like these guys that are on YouTube all the time, so I've been in Andy Schrock's videos and all the different Revive guys for years. And um, at first, it was very weird for me to like be in these videos. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird for me to be in it because I was like super outside my comfort zone. Now I never thought that I'd actually start making my own videos. But and uh, even when I started this channel, I never thought that I'd be like on camera in this format, like actually talking directly to the camera. But uh, quickly, I, I really started to like it. Ego just fills that. No, 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 no. Real no. quick. Real quick. There you go. So I, I quickly, like, you know, actually started to really enjoy it, and, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun. We're glad you're here, right at the demise of everybody's I know, right? <laughs> Card, did you go first? You go first. Queen of Diamonds. Here we go. This guy uh, two right of here. clubs. <laughs> Ten of clubs. Eight of hearts. All right. Brett, this one? Brett, Brett, Eight grab hearts. that one. Mm -hmm. Two of, um, Yep, one. that one. Yep, and Brian, you are this one. Dude, that one, that last oh, one got, got me. Uh, that last one got me pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. This is one all, man. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. I'll cheers you, Wayne. Okay. All right. James J Jam dot Ash <laughs> asked, "How did you and Andy meet?" It does say James. That's why I laughed. <laughs> What is James dot Esh? You know, so it's James, James H, but he put a dot in the middle of his freaking name. So how did you and Andy meet? How did you and Andy meet? I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember. I really don't. You gotta you gotta be able to dig that you, you what's your first memory? I got memory? What's, what's your, your first, first memory? memory of Andy? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. You saw him today. That's still reserved. I know my last <laughs> memory of him. We ate <laughs> dinner tonight. I don't know my first memory of him, I don't know. So I met I met Andy. On the Metro Tour, back in 2011. Whew. Um, I think I actually got the the Franks. I think I'm good on that one. I think. I think. I think we're like 30 days into the Metro Tour, and um, <laughs> <laughs> New York City. Oh yeah, I got a good one. Not Andy Ward's ass. Oh. <laughs> New York City. He uh, he showed up, and he was incredibly chipper to a bunch of dudes who had been sitting in a van, living in a <coughs> van for 30 days. Are you dying over here? Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, um, and uh, yeah, it was it was meeting Andy Schrock for the first time after living in a van for thirty days. It was I'm sure quite the experience. I'm sure, it was an interesting experience. We got to talk a little bit, but then he came out to LA like <laughs> a year later. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> he came out to LA uh, a year later and hit me up and ended up staying with me, and we actually got to like like meet and get to know each other like properly, and then we became good friends. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that weird, Al? If your life is kind of normal, or below average, and then you meet someone who's actually happy with their situation, it makes you more angry. Uh huh? You're like, well, how dare you? <laughs> this guy, who does he think he is? That's, that's Don't you know insane. how I feel about myself? This guy's coming over here smiling, trying to brighten morale. <laughs> <laughs> Get him out of here. Whoa. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, that's definitely a spicy one. I've eaten yeah, today. You, you think so? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, I met Andy in, it would have been, I think, fifth or sixth grade. Um, so how old are you in 5th or 6th grade? I think you're like, oh, like, 10 or 11. like 10 or 11. Yeah. So I had met Andy when I was 10 or 11 years old at a, uh, at a school camp basically called Camp Kern. It wasn't a summer camp or anything like that. You went for like a weekend during school right. and, uh, and we were randomly bunk mates. I actually didn't even remember this happening to Andy. What are you doing? He was texting in the middle of this. I'm going to see when we met. And uh, <laughs> uh, Andy and I were, were bunk mates, and I actually don't remember this story. Andy's actually reminded me of this, and I I've got a little bit more memory from it. But I let him borrow an, an R.L. Stein book right. on it, and he Goose took Bones? it. From, yeah, Goosebumps book. He he accidentally stole it from me, and <laughs> yeah, 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 right. he stole it, and didn't get it back to me. And then I remember he was he was talking about he saw me in a in a grocery store, and it was like very awkward for him. So it was like because he had stole my book. And he didn't want to like be called out on it or anything like that, so he actively like avoided me in the grocery store because he didn't want to like have an altercation. Climbed over the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, this is not where the bread is. Ah, <coughs> it is getting warm in uh, here. Man, all right, on to the last one. I, I feel like there's still one Carolina Reaper out there. Maybe I think I might have got one. I think you definitely got one. Yeah, we'll, we'll I, see. I don't know if Andrew got one yet. Nah, dog. Are you even good the whole time? No, one of them. I'm sweating. 
Okay. But yeah, no, I'm good. Right, in I'm fact, gonna, I'm down to just dip it in the oh, man, I'm getting Reaper Sauce at the end anyways. Five of dimes. Here's the spades. Wait, Look, close. magic trick. Five. <laughs> right <laughs> in the sauce. <laughs> yeah, he lives off of cards. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, this is, okay. So I can... You gonna make it over oh, there, buddy? Are you dying? Well, I'm dying. You know, like the spice is whatever, but like, and I can feel my in my like a lightheadedness, and that's, that's more creepy. Oh, it's like the endorphin rush. Yeah, I talk about it all the time. The spicy is whatever. We're yes, earlier. it only gets so spicy, whatever. Yes, but it's like the full body experience is yes. way more intense. It's like, like it's like an intoxication. Yes, it's like you get drunk. It's yeah. like it's crazy. And it, but I, I I like it though. All right, I met Andy and Shredcast. On sh really? <laughs> yeah. Shredcast, I miss Shredcast. You guys need to bring that back. Hey, hold off on your chicken wing, man. He's eating it. Shred I just stop eating the chicken wing. Yeah, what are you, all right, all right, what all right. Are we'll doing? go, we'll go. Cheers. Shreff on tour, Deer Creek ass. When did you guys start skating? What a dumb name. <laughs> um, 2002. So 15 years ago, for like a year or two, my buddy Mike was trying to get me into skateboarding. I wasn't really having it. He would hang out and he'd show me videos and whatever. And then he showed me Rodney vs. Day One Round 2. And that <laughs> part, yeah, I know. <laughs> Shocker. That part, uh, totally. It wasn't, it wasn't just the skating, because he, he realized that like I really like technical skating, and so he's like, oh, you'd like both these dudes. But the way it was filmed and Rodney's intro with the music it was kind of done in a different way, and for some reason it kind of like caught me in. And uh, yeah. That's a fantastic video. Yeah. I was 14 years old. Wow. Ninja, when did you start? I take really big bites. <laughs> so I got a two. I'll go. Oh, I think I started skating in either 1998 or 1999. I'm not absolutely sure exactly when I started skating. Um, but, I mean, it was pretty easy. Just I just kind of gravitated towards it because all my friends in high school, they were skateboarders. And they started, and they were, they were all started, kind of starting skateboarding together. Uh, so I started skating. So, i pretty cut and dry, pretty simple. My friends were doing it, so I jumped on. No, it was, that was a good decision. I wish I quit every day. Wish you quit? Oh, yeah. It's terrible, right? It's I do have a, a slight love-hate relationship with, oh, skate, with skateboarding. Kind not of slight all, at all. All the time. Not at all. Not slight in the least. Or so I, I joke and I say the greatest and worst thing about skateboarding is that it's ran by skateboarders. Yes. <laughs> so I jokingly say that all the time because it's a good thing and sometimes a bad thing. I left Shred Quarters today thinking... <laughs> If I died today, the only thing I did was flip a piece of wood around for <laughs> way too long. Playing with a child's toy for too much of my yeah, life. Yeah, right. Good. We well, definitely have an interesting job. <laughs> I started skating when I was 14. I saw some kid at school do a heel flip, and I was like, I have a skateboard. That'd be cool. And then a month later, someone robbed me for it. <laughs> One house away. <laughs> this is actually a funny story. You know what? Segway. One that, house away, your next door neighbor robs you? I was some other weird kid. Okay. Like he was a okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I bet you uh, I can skate from here to there faster. And he was like, there's these lines. And he's, I did it really quick. He timed me, pretended to time me. And then he did it and just never stopped. Really? <laughs> just kept on going. Yeah. Just going. <laughs> so, I mean, I feel like you could have ran after said kid. Oh, I did. Uh, I ran my 14 year old heart up. <laughs> and he beat you on a skateboard? Oh, he was, he had them big, long Craig legs. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been Craig, actually. <laughs> might have been Craig. He's got a good um, push. Yeah, I saw I could do a heel flip, and I was like, oh, I have a skateboard. I think I could do that. So I tried, and with a lot of things in my life, if I'm, like, kind of dedicated to something, I sort of, like, like, get really stuck on it. <clears throat> obsessed. Think about obsessed. Yeah, they have Mario. I play Mario now, and I can't fucking stop. <laughs> That's <laughs> super true. Well, there you go. Here we go. Woo! Well, I appreciate both these guys being in the video. <laughs> Links to their channels are in the description below. Some of these are some of my best friends in the world, so I'm super glad they were able to do this. And as always, I super appreciate your likes, your comments, and if you like these videos, please subscribe so you can see more of them, and I will definitely see you guys on the next one. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.